Hey guys, John Adamson, the Rayban Documentation Guru. Yet again, too much of me on one day, but another case study I thought about from the other day that I thought it'd be useful to discuss. Um, so I got a call from one of my PT assistants. I have excellent assistants. I just can't say enough about them. Um, but obviously, you know, they don't have as much background as me as a therapist um, in certain areas. And uh, but uh, this situation was very interesting. So I turned over a medically complex patient to one of my assistants, whom I greatly trust. I mean, if she she's done such wonderful work with my patients and gotten them really far. And if she doesn't know something, she'll she's not afraid to talk to me. And so I really value her. So I have this patient who has cancer and he has metastases to the cervical area on the right side, uh, not necessarily in the bone. He has uh, metastases to his right uh, glenohumeral joint area, and he has metastases to his right hip. So he's, he's not in great shape. But um, he has some rehabilitative capability, and so that's why I put him on a rehab program. Um, but she was noticing um, the other day, she's working with him, now, he had some limited shoulder motion, but he was complaining, his wife was complaining, too, that it seemed like he was getting a knot in the posterior aspect of his shoulder. And when she um, palpated his shoulder with movement, she said it felt like uh, the scapula was um, sticking out. Now, you might, might already have figured out what... I figure is probably going on with this guy. So he's got a cervical area mass. We, um, it's not very big, or at least it's not seen visually on the right side. Um, and we don't know exactly, I don't know, because it's not reported how far it extends down. Um, but he's now got this winging of the scapula. And in the recesses of my brain, I just pulled it out. And I said, I think I know what may be going on. He may have a compression of the long thoracic nerve, which you might remember innervates the um, serratus anterior, which one of its jobs is to stabilize the scapula against the th thorax. And a clinical sign of um, serratus anterior deficiency and or long thoracic nerve injury is winging of the scapula and you can pretty easily test for it by having the patient um, stiff arm against the wall and um, try to protract the shoulder against the wall and what that'll do is it'll if if you've got serratus anterior deficiency the scapula will wing and so i asked her to just do that with him on monday this coming monday and see if she sees that and then we'll we're going to probably just mention to the doctor this clinical sign and what we suspect and let the doctor take it from there. Um, he had to take a pause in his chemo, unfortunately, because of other medical conditions. Um, will this alter significantly what we're working on? Not necessarily, um, but um, it will be a good piece of information to provide to the doctor and OT who's in, um, who may do exercises that will be um, cause problems for the patient because of the lack of coordination of scapulothoracic rhythm uh, with elevation of the humerus. So uh, anyway, just a, another interesting case study. If you have any case studies, feel free to share them. Um, I would love to, you know, talk about them, comment on them. You know, PT, OT, and speech, um, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to leave them in the comments, or you can always email me at adamsonenterprises1 at gmail.com. Just remember to exclude any HIPAA-violating information. Anyway, John Adamson, the Rehab and Documentation Guru. Too many videos of me today. Take care, and God bless.